But I'd like to give you an update on uh, 1207. Uh, this week we went over the number 218, which means that the majority of the members of the House of Representatives have signed on as co-sponsors. Matter of fact, we're up to 223 uh, co-sponsors of the bill. And uh, this, this means that uh, the momentum is picking up. It would be nice someday to see uh, 290, which would mean that it could be passed even under suspension. We still have a long way to go, but uh, this is really a very important event and important number. We, we also have to remember that uh, we should uh, push uh, 604, the Senate bill, uh, which is the same bill. And there's not nearly as many co-sponsors over there, but uh, eventually the Senate would have to act on this bill. But uh, uh, we uh, also have the so strong support of Dennis Kucinich. Matter of fact, he came on and symbolically became the 218th member to co-sponsor uh, our legislation. But I also have co-sponsored his legis legislation, which, was, which is H.R. 2424. Matter of fact, he has passed that in uh, the committee that he's on, on uh, the House and, and the Government Oversight Committee. And uh, that now uh, will uh, be acted on one way or the other. Now his bill is a little bit different. What it does, it, ha it provides access uh, by, from Congress and the GAO to look at the papers in the Federal Reserve dealing with the uh, lending facilities that were all devised here in this past year. And that is very important. And uh, I have, uh, like I said, been a co-sponsor of that. But his bill now uh, has several things could happen. That could be brought directly to the floor, uh, and, or it could go to the banking committee. Uh, matter of fact, I think uh, Chairman Frank is asking to take a look at that bill. And that's not all bad, uh, but it does uh, lend itself to some confusion. But if it comes to the banking committee, then I might then have the opportunity to take 1207 and attach it to what uh, Mr. Kucinich has done. And that would be fine. Uh, his bill doesn't cancel my uh, efforts out, and my bill doesn't cancel his efforts out. But 1207 is much broader. Uh, Dennis's bill uh, has a sunset provision. After five years, it's sunsetted. Uh, that's not all bad, but it's not as good as what we want. Uh, and what 1207 does, it's an overall audit of everything the Fed does, and there's no sun setting on it, and it calls for a full audit. So th it's a different approach. Uh, 1207 is much more thorough. And, of course, uh, we want to uh, make sure that the bill in the Senate uh, gets uh, momentum uh, as, as well. So we are uh, now, uh, you know, looking forward to some uh, very positive things happening. But we also have to remember there's nothing automatic about this. I think, there's, uh, I think when push comes to shove, uh, the uh, authorities who will uh, be under the gun if we ever get uh, the Fed exposed are going to come down real hard. And they're going to be talking to the leaders of both parties on all the um, bad things that could happen if they ever found out what was going on. But you know, in a way, I don't lie awake at night worrying about this because I think we've had a major victory. We've had a moral victory and we've had a political victory. Uh, we may well end up with a legislative victory, but just think, even if they close us out and they don't allow this bill to be passed, it will prove our point. It will prove our point that there's a lot of shenanigans going on in the Federal Reserve that deserve attention. And uh, so uh, the fact that uh, so many people have joined in this effort around the country, as well as the members of Congress, is, uh, to me, a major victory. And we have to continue this momentum. But we have to, uh, you know, look at all the options. Uh, uh, the legislative process is not going to end in a week or even a month. It may take a while. Uh, when it gets to the Banking Committee, uh, Chairman Frank might decide to extract uh, this portion of the auditing uh, procedure and put it into a banking bill, and that might become more confusing. And there will be efforts, uh, of course, to water the bill down. Uh, and I have to watch out for that because the temptation will be uh, to uh, allow the bill to go through. 
but uh, strike a few clauses or put a phrase in there that really guts the bill. That's essentially what happened in 1978 when the audit bill was passed. They said, sure, you can audit the Federal Reserve now, except for, and then they listed all the exclusion and made the audit bill in 1978 uh, worthless. And we need to correct that. It's a tremendous opportunity right now for us to find out more about the Federal Reserve, reign in the Federal Reserve, and in time we can talk about uh, why we don't need a Federal Reserve and why we need a constitutional uh, system of money, which of course is not paper money and it can't be run and managed by a central bank. But overall, there's every reason to be excited about what has happened and that we are making great progress here in the Congress and around the country for monetary reform.